Over the past four years, I've spent a lot of time in Florida chasing down pileated woodpecker nests, and I've been fortunate enough to find quite a few of them. A couple of the nests that I found, I actually got early on in the nesting season, which was nice because I was able to still see them building nests, digging out the cavities, and I was able to film basically the entire cycle of the chicks from, from hatch to fledging. The nest that I found this year was actually right in the middle of a public park, which is good and bad. Bad being it attracts quite a crowd, but good being the woodpeckers are actually very habituated to people, so I was able to get very close to them without them even being bothered whatsoever. So that enabled me to get a lot of tight, intimate footage of them collecting food to bring back to the nest for the chicks. So you could really see them using their tongues to collect all the different insects and whatever else that they're bringing back. And what I really wanted, I was really hoping to get a lot of flight shots of them coming in, but this proved to be a lot more challenging than I was expecting. They're not easy to, to film in flight, they're very fast. The other good thing about this nest is that it was so wide open and in such a good spot that I was actually able to set up multiple cameras on a couple mornings so I could get different angles of the same feedings just to make things a little bit more interesting. Located not too far from this pileated nest was a red-shouldered hawk nest, and I'm not sure who actually started nesting first, but the pileateds were not happy when the hawks would come sit on the branches nearby, especially the male. He was always screaming, and um, he was actually very brave because he was pretty much defenseless against the red-shouldered hawk, but he would do this big display where he would go up on the branch and bang pieces of the bark off with his beak, trying to intimidate the hawk, who was not impressed whatsoever. And at a second location where I was filming this year, the male pileated from a different pair actually did the same thing, but against a barred owl. And he would fluff up and you know bang the, the tree branches just like the other one did. And on one of the mornings, I missed the shot because it happened so fast, but. He actually snuck in behind the owl and hit him right in the back of the head. And the owl did this big shake to readjust his feathers before flying off after that. So um, these guys are very protective parents and very brave at the same time. I would make a lot more visits to this nest over about a five week period this year. And as the chicks continue to grow, they would spend more time with their heads popped out of the hole, always kind of waiting for the, the parents to come back and always calling for food. And I was able to get lots and lots of video of this. And I should mention for this video, mostly I was using a Canon R3 600 millimeter lens, F4 Canon lens, uh, as well as a couple times I was using my Canon R5 as well. And a lot of the times I was manual focusing just because there wasn't a lot of movement, but as the woodpeckers would go up and down the tree, I was using autofocus for this because the autofocus was pretty reliable on this. It was finding the bird, especially the eye, pretty well, so that made things a little bit easier. I didn't have to manual focus, which is always nice. But what I was finding was, as I was coming here day in and day out, which is a good problem to have, was I had so many video clips 
of the parents feeding the chicks that it was almost becoming repetitious. And I wanted to try something a little bit different. So the next morning I came back with a different plan. The next morning when I set up, I would bring out my two times teleconverter on my 600 millimeter lens, getting as close as I could without disturbing the birds, which gave me, these are full frame shots, super, super tight. You know, I just wanted something just a little bit different. I had all the further pulled back shots and I really wanted that super close look. And it was allowing me to see a lot of details that I was overlooking, just things like the eyelids closing, the type of uh, food that the parents were bringing back the exchange of the food, the regurgitation, all those little details that your eye don't really see when you're further away. So this was just a little bit different perspective for me compared to things that I have filmed in past years. And I really liked the way that this came out. I was happy with it. For this footage, I did have to manual focus a lot of the times. The, the depth of field when you're at 1200 millimeter is, is very narrow, even at f8 or f11. And it was kind of jumping back between uh, the two chicks faces or the adult's head as he would tilt his head back and forth. The adult male and the adult female woodpeckers had different feeding approaches. The male would come directly into the hole like this and he would feed almost parallel to the chicks, which is what I preferred. Made it a lot easier, it had everybody for the most part in the same focal plane. Whereas the female, when she would approach, she came more from above or below the hole, would work up and was always off to the side, either with her back to us or on the opposite side, facing back to where I was standing. And she would kind of feed on a side angle. And this is consistent with every pileated nest that I've ever filmed. For whatever reason, the male and the female seem to have just different styles of feeding. And if you don't know the way you can tell the, the male and the female apart is the male has the red stripe down the side of the face. As you can see with the chicks here, this is a male and a female chick. Uh, the male, the top, the red feathers on the top of the head of the male also go all the way to the beak. Whereas you can see on the female, the red feathers on the head stop just above her eye and she does not have the red stripe down the side of her face. So that's the easiest way to tell them apart. So there are three chicks in this hole, even though most of the time we would only see two, especially as they started to grow, the hole was just getting too small for all three chicks to pop out at the same time and it was getting closer and closer to the time where uh, somebody had to leave. So one of the males did fledge first, that left two back in the hole, one male, one female. Uh, the second male would fledge a couple days later and lastly the female did end up fledging at the end. So all three made it out. It was a successful nesting season for these guys. And I kind of hope they use this nest again next year or at least in the same area because it provided some of the best looks I've ever gotten at Pileated Woodpeckers for sure.